Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. I know if you're scrolling on your timeline right now, you're like, hold up. Why is she live a whole hour early, right? Normally, um, we do this every Monday and Friday, 6.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? But this morning, it is actually 5.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I got to get to the airport. So at 6.45, I'm going to be going through, checking in and everything. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't go later than that. You know, as you guys know, sometimes I do this earlier, but I usually don't like to go later if I can help it, right? So for those of you um, joining me, welcome to this morning's episode of If You Woke Up, You're Winning. My name is Panique Singleton from Build a Lasting Legacy. And here is this morning's episode. It's a couple of you guys jumping on early. Thank you, thank you guys for jumping on the broadcast. I know we're an hour early. I apologize for that. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Kevin. Lynn, good morning to you. I hope you guys are excited this Monday. Um, it's early, right? It's early. But I hope y'all are having a great day so far. As you can see, I'm up, ready to go, ready to do this uh, this message this morning. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm in Austin, Texas, actually. I flew out here on Friday um, and I am catching my flight this morning, which is why we're on an hour early. So make sure you share the broadcast. Make sure you tag a friend. You know, if you know somebody that normally watches, go ahead and tag them. So when they, they get up and they come on at 645 looking for me, they, they'll know the video is already out. Okay. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to the, to today's topic. So today I actually want to share something with you. Good morning, Jerry. Thank you for joining. So this morning I want to share something with you guys that I learned over the weekend. You know, I was in Austin, Texas attending a conference and one of the speakers was Hal Elrod. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Hal Elrod. He wrote the book, um, Miracle Morning, right? The Miracle Morning. So that is, I haven't even read the book yet, but from what everybody was saying, it's a great book. I'm actually going to start on that one this week. Um, well, maybe this week. I don't know if it's going to be this week, but anyway, so Hal Elrod was one of our speakers. And one of the biggest takeaways that I got from his uh, speech or, you know, from him, his time on stage was something called the five minute rule, right? The five minute rule. Um, oh, Kevin, I'm up early because um, I got a flight to catch. So I had to do the, the show a, an hour earlier. That's why I'm up. You missed the beginning, but yeah. Anyway, hey Rose, what's up? So yeah, so one of my biggest takeaways from how Elrod's time on stage was the five minute rule, right? So you might be asking, well, what is, what is the five minute rule? Well, I'm gonna tell you the five minute rule says that it's okay to be sad about something. It's okay to be upset, frustrated, pissed off about something that happens, right? But not for more than five minutes, right? And I thought that was just so cool because how many times does something happen to us and we let it ruin our entire day? Something will happen first thing in the morning. And a lot of times it's something small, right? It's something small, like we got stuck in traffic. But then the rest of the day, we have an attitude. It throws our whole day off, right? But why? Because getting stuck in traffic is something that you can't control, right? Now, maybe it was your fault. Maybe you left late. You know, you decided to hit the snooze button a couple times and then you just end up leaving late. So maybe it is your fault, but maybe it's not. Maybe you left on time and there was just an accident. You know, you left on time, but there was construction. So it really wasn't your fault. But a lot of times things aren't our fault, but we choose to let it affect our entire day. You know, you get you get stuck in traffic. So by the time you get to work, somebody's like, how are you doing today? You're like, man, ugh, I've been in traffic. Okay, but you made it. Like you're here. Why are you so upset about it? So I just love the five minute rule that he shared with us because we can't always control what happens to us. You know, I know that, you know, you were doing your best at work and you still got laid off. I know, and that sucks, right? But you can't do anything about it. The other, the other takeaway from his speech was these three words. And if you don't get anything from this today, I want you to get these three words. Can't change it, right? You can't change it, right? So I know you were doing everything at work and you got laid off anyway, but guess what? You can't change it. I know you actually did leave the house on time, but you got stuck in traffic anyway. Can't change it, right? I know you went to the store to look for that, that thing that you wanted to buy and they were sold out, but you can't change it right? You can't change it. You know, you were driving along out of your business and got where it ended. That really sucks, but you can't change it. But what you can do, you know what I'm saying? Even though you can't change it, even though you couldn't control it, even though it wasn't your fault, you can control your emotions. You can't control your reaction. You can't control what your next move is, right? So I know <laughs> you got rear-ended, but be thankful 
that you didn't get seriously injured. Be thankful that you didn't die, right? So you can either choose to be sad and upset and pissed off and frustrated, or you can choose to be grateful and thankful and happy for what you do have, right? I know you may have lost someone. I know somebody may have passed away, right? But be thankful for the time that you had with them or be thankful for those people that you still have time with, right? I know you lost that job, but be thankful that you have the ability to look for another one. Matter of fact, you might want to be thankful that you lost that one because maybe your time there was over. You know, I got fired from a job one time. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I got fired from a job, but I found an opportunity that was so much better. So instead of me being all sad and depressed, man, they fired me, they let me go. I'm thankful. I'm grateful that my time there was over, that they showed me my time was over because I probably wouldn't have left on my own. I would have stayed there for who knows how much longer and been miserable. So even right after it happened, like the next day, I was grateful and I was thankful that it happened because I knew that if it didn't, I wouldn't have gotten out there and looked for something else. So again, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens, you control how you react to it. You control what your next move is, right? You couldn't control that you got stuck in traffic, but you can control the way you go about the rest of your day. When you get to work, somebody asks you, how you doing? Oh, I'm great. You know? Yeah, you were five minutes late. Who cares? I'm great, though. I'm still great. I made it. I didn't get any accidents. I made it here in one piece. We're good. Right? So you choose your next move, right? You choose to control your emotions. Um, and that's one of the things that he was talking about in his speech. That's why I was like, man, this is so good. Because how many times, tell the truth, we've all done it. How many times has something happened to you? Which reminds me of this other quote, by the way. Something happened to you and your whole day was just ruined. Whole day ruined. And when you look back on it, you don't even know why you were in a bad mood all day. You don't even remember what happened. Like right now, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, that's been me before. And you're like, but what happened? What happened? Why, why did I have such a bad day? You don't even know now, right? You don't even know now. Which reminds me of another quote that I probably shared with you guys before. And that quote is, did you really have a bad day? Or did you have a bad five minutes that you milked for the rest of the day? Did you have a bad five minutes or did you really have a whole bad day? Like was your, your day really that bad, right? So that's, that's something for us to think about. It's just all about perspective because guys, our time here on earth is short. You know, I talk about that all the time, life's short. So why not enjoy it? Why not enjoy it even when you're going through something, even when something happens that you didn't think should have happened, even when something happens that maybe was, you know, unfavorable. It wasn't the best thing that could have happened. Enjoy your time here on earth. Don't sit there and be upset about it. So practice the five minute rule, y'all. Next time something bad happens, I want you to set a timer for five minutes and go ahead. You can go ahead and complain about it or whatever at first. You know, oh man, this sucks. I, oh, I can't believe this happened. But when that timer goes off, I want you to be over it. And I know that's easier said than done. I know if you haven't been doing this, it's either easier said than done. But I just want you to try it. I just want you to see how it works. You know, I also want you to keep in mind that when something happens you can't control, I want you to say, you know what, I can't change it. You know, last night I was at dinner with some of the other people that attended the conference. And one of the ladies was like, man, why is our food taking so long? And then... Um, one of the, and then I was like, I know, right? Where's the food? We didn't really order anything crazy. And then the one guy was like, you can't change it. Stop it. You know, and we were all started laughing because you're right. Like, what are we going to do? Are we going to go back there and cook the food? No, right? So we can't change it. So why are we complaining about it, right? Let's just sit here, enjoy each other's company, and wait for the food to come out. So, I mean, you can apply this to anything in life. Because a lot of the things that we spend time worrying about, a lot of the things that we spend time being sad and upset, moping around, complaining to other people, you done called three friends and complained about it, brought them down, and it wasn't even a big deal, right? It wasn't a big deal. A lot of times when things don't go your way, it's really to keep you from that thing. Like you thought that that's what you wanted to do, but it really wasn't the best thing for you. I mean, I know you thought you were going to be in that relationship forever, but that wasn't the best relationship for you. So when that person left, it was really a good thing. You thought that was the job that you were going to be in, but when you got laid off, that was really a good thing, right? Everything that happens, happens for a reason. I talked about this the other day, so I'm not going to get into that, but everything that happens, happens for a reason. So you decide how you want to look at it. You decide, you know, what you want to get out of that experience, right? You decide to be thankful, to be grateful, to be happy, or to be sad, moping around somebody nobody wants to be around just because you got a paper cut this morning you got a paper cut like i know they hurt they hurt i know but you got a paper cut but you walking around sad 
all day, mad at everybody because you got paper cut. Come on, guys. We got to put this thing into perspective, right? So anyway, I hope that helps somebody this morning. I'm going to get out of here so I don't miss my shuttle to the airport. Um, thank you guys so much. Hey, Maurice, what's up? What's up with you? Um, that's good. That's good. Always got to stay positive, right? Because there's always negative things that are going to happen. But if you stay positive, you know, then you're in there, right? You got to set the tone for it. So even when negative things happen, you got to be positive and help somebody else to be positive, right? But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I appreciate you all watching and hanging out with me this early in the morning. I know we normally do 6.45 Eastern Standard Time. This morning, I got, I got on here at 5.45 Eastern Time, 4.45 where I'm at, right? It's a little bit early here, but um, I appreciate y'all, and I will see you guys on the next video, but right now, what I want you to do is I want you to get off of Facebook, and I want you to get out there and be great on purpose today, okay? Because I know you can do it. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself and make the choice to be great. So I want each and every one of you to choose greatness on this Monday and get out there and crush it. Get out there and kill it. And most importantly, remember that you can't change it. You can't change it. So if something happens beyond your control, wasn't your fault, can't change, move on. Don't be mad about it for more than five minutes, all right? Uh, all right, so follow the five-minute rule and remember that you can't change it. At the end of five minutes, just tell yourself, you know what? Can't change it. Let me move on, all right? So share this video. Somebody needs to hear this this morning, all right? Hey, Tanya, what's up? Thank you for joining. I'm just getting off here. Um, anybody who just joined, make sure you go back and watch from the beginning. Um, this was definitely some good information. This was definitely something that I found very helpful that I learned over the weekend, so I wanted to share with you guys, all right? So like, comment, and share. Tag a friend, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Again, my name is Panik Singleton from Build a Lasting Legacy. Oh, one more thing, guys. I'm so sorry. One more thing. Those of you guys... Um, in Raleigh, North Carolina, I am partnering with some other entrepreneurs to do a back to school drive. So on August the 26th, I want you guys to come out and support, you know, if you know somebody that needs school supplies, please send them out. We're just going to have a great time. If you want to make a donation, you can actually inbox me and I give you my cash app and my PayPal. Let's, um, help these kids go back to school. All right. All right. I just had to throw it in there cause I forgot to mention it the other day. All right. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, how do I stop this thing? Oh.